I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last time, and I'm more than likely to mention it many more times, but this is the nicest slum I've ever been to. I'm Plus, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, Ghost Graveyard. Er, blah, blah, blah. Train Graveyard. That sounds like fun. Ghost. Damn. But how are you, buddy? Uh, whose name I kind of forgot. He looks like someone from Full Metal Alchemist, but I don't remember. Uh, the first series, not Brotherhood. I actually haven't gotten around to seeing Brotherhood. Oh well. And then the comments ignited telling me how much I should watch it. Well, maybe not. No one comments on my videos anyway, but that's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. That would be nice, though. Man. These guys must have some kind of balls. Or pay to be going in when, like, I just told them that, or not I, but Barrett, just told them that, oh, by the way, we're totally going to attack your work today. <laughs> I mean, like, if wherever I work was about to get robbed, and, like, someone just, like, on the way to work just told me, by the way, we're going to be, like, doing some pretty bad shit down there today, I'd probably call in sick. Shinra's very proud of their ID system. Sometimes, they just take pictures of themselves with the ID system. It's just all around the Shinra office. Oh, crap. That's terrible. Wait, what? Well, this is a little too soon, don't you think? Jumping off of a train? Ah. Well, I guess that's plenty of motivation for me. I don't want to get kicked out of a train. That would suck. Let alone a moving one. Uh, well, maybe we better leave now, then. Man, this is all going way too fast. I hope this train isn't moving yet. Well, it probably is. I can't tell because of the NES graphics. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're here, uh, I, I guess we're just going to dive out the window. So I guess it'll be leader first, wouldn't it, Barrett? Wait, no time for what? Uh, what, deciding if you want to jump out the window? Well, fine. Don't go first, Barrett. Go last. See if it's safe for everyone. Oh boy. Biggs and Wedge are there. And you know how reliable characters named Biggs and Wedge seem to be. So, now that we have Tifa in our party, we can, like, equip her with more things. That's why I bought her more, you know, stuff back in the, the place. Sector 7. <laughs> Wait, was it Sector 7? Man, this is embarrassing. Well, it's a good thing I know that I suck, um, so then I, you know, don't have any ex expectations to live up to. Make sure you equip Barrett with something. And I'll just put all this equipment on you. Pr the primal bangle, the hunting bangle, burning mail, and, uh, a knitted helmet. Man, this equipment has some really lame names. Alright, so if you go south, nothing happens. Like, you'll just keep repeating. So, just start going north. To meet some random monsters. So, off screen, I learned Quake, which should be happening right about now if you're just using magic every turn. And you should have access to the rain spells now, which do the same amount of damage as the regular spells, only, well, they're more ranged. So, you may want to, like, invest a lot of time and energy into the range spells, and it seems like that did all of nothing. Shame. And spells tend not to be too terribly effective when used um, from the enemy, so you probably shouldn't worry about that too much. What you really should be worried about is how much MP you're using on everything. That actually does kind of become an issue, because these battles take a long time, because the game actually is not terribly balanced. So you always end up really really underleveled, like to unreasonable amounts. Man, you know, what are these guys? I, I know they're something from, I think, Japanese mythology, but for the life of me, I can't remember what they're called. I mean, it could just be, like, the Japanese characters for sea and horse put together, because I, I mean, I suppose they're literal seahorses, but, um, for the life of me, I just can't remember. Oh, and also, when you know that your enemies are immune to whatever spell you're using, like, 
I am for Barrett right now, it's always a good idea to make sure that you still use magic anyway, because you need every bit of experience that you can get your hands on, unless it hasn't been doing anything. Man, I am an idiot. <laughs> Alright, only one more to go. Go down, go down, come on. This could take a little while. Oh, and also something to note statistically, these, like all three of your party members, are basically the same. Just like in the original, Cloud is a little bit stronger in the other three. Well, not three, but w w the other two really aren't too much different, it's just a matter of how much they're in your party. Like, uh, Barrett, for some reason in this game, tends to lead. What the hell? Uh, oh. Just, um... Whatever the hell that thing is. Not that I know what any of these things are. I, I mean, I guess one could pass for... A Sahajin, a Lan... Er... An Antlion, and a Stingray. Kind of an odd arrangement of enemies. Um... Not that anything about Final Fantasies make a whole lot of sense or anything like that, but, uh, you know. Oh, it's a Scyther. Well... You know what this makes me think? Hold on. No, I don't seem to have any Pokeballs. Well, I tried. You certainly cannot tell me I didn't try. Alright, so I didn't catch the Scyther because I didn't think it would be too useful. But I did get it and I got the experience, so that's pretty cool. So once you're over here, walk over to this pipe and let's see what's down. Oh man. Uh, Sewers are usually pretty small. I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to make it. Oh, wow, these are some big sewers. <laughs> yeah, this is another really good example of absurdly spacious sewers. Uh, I know there's treasure down one of these two paths, but which... Oh, oh damn it. It's down the other path. Alright, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, I also got something. Um, I'm not sure how it is. I think it goes over here. A thick... Thing. Is that better than the burning? Uh, well, it does give me more experience, so I guess I'll give that to Barrett. Um, because if anyone's going to be doing any attacking, it's Barrett, because he, for some reason, doesn't really spend too much time in the party for the early part of the game. Ooh, Intelligent Plus. So as you can see from the name, uh, I've really got to stop doing that. It gives you more intelligence. So you should probably use all the items like that on Cloud, since you know he's going to be in your party all the time. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so the silicone on my S key on my laptop is coming apart, which is making my ups... Yes, my ups. Um, a lot less responsive. Um, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it still works and everything. But it's just really annoying. Like, that's just not a very good feeling because I play a lot of video games and I like to use the, um, well, the up key a lot. <laughs> Mostly because the games I play are console based, so I generally don't use WASD and mouse very much. Um, don't know why. I mean, I just never really got into, uh, PC gaming that much. Probably because I was a console boy. Um, Definitely just kind of grew up with the, uh, with the GB, yes, the GB, uh, the Game Boy, GBA, and 64, and GameCube, I guess. Later on, I got a PlayStation, though. That was pretty awesome. Oddly enough, the only games I actually had for the, um, Game Boy Color was, a, uh, I think Final Fantasy Legends, that was pretty neat. I think it was two or three, I don't remember. Maybe I had both. Uh, Final Fantasy Adventure and Pokemon, of course. Later on, I got Dragon, uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, which ooh, what's that? Flaxen? That sounds sexy. Or disgusting. I'm not quite sure. Sometimes they're kind of synonymous. Uh, no, no, this isn't for Barrett. No, no, this isn't for Barrett at all. Uh, hmm. And that item is terrible. Alright, well that was a waste of my time. And this is one, another one of those pathways, so let's go down. I'm feeling exciting and sexy today. Well, no, I'm, I, I guess I'm not feeling very sexy. But, um... 
you know, maybe I should just stop saying disconcerting things like that in the middle of commentary. Well, I guess the word I was looking for was exotic, actually. Exotic. I'm feeling very exotic today, where usually I take the middle path. And it looks like my exoticness has been rewarded. Such a weird thing to say. Like, whenever I say exotic, I kind of squint my eyes a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's because, like, whenever I'm not quite sure what word to say, I squint my eyes. <laughs> and more of these... Uh... You know, these guys are just starting to get very indescribable. I'm pretty sure they're an enemy from Final Fantasy 3, but I can't really be sure. And you all die. Oh, they're Basculus. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Um, don't bother correcting me on that one, by the way. Wise thing to do, unless I'm just blatantly pronouncing it wrong like, Oh, it's magic. I'm probably going to catch my mistakes sooner or later. Probably when I go back and watch it. I don't know. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I don't know why I wasn't doing that from the start. There we go. That felt good. It's you, um... Woman from Ninja Turtles. April. April from Ninja Turtles. That's who she is. Only she isn't wearing yellow. Alright. I guess we'll just blow up the the reactor. Sounds like one hell of a party. Alright, so this tile restores all your HP, which usually means there's a boss battle up ahead, or something very annoying. Ah, well that sounds exciting. And a false way to speed up the game- oh wait, not speed up. Ah. Alright, what was I saying? Oh yeah, a very good way to make gameplay artificially longer. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I have a weird lisp like that for some reason. F cool thing about old RPGs, they like to artificially lengthen gameplay with lots of very slow random battles like this one. Not really a whole lot of fun. <laughs> for some odd reason, I enjoyed it as a kid, but now that I'm a lot older, for some reason, my tolerance for long turn based battles is getting relatively slim. Admittedly, uh, that is the reason why I haven't gotten around to playing Pokemon Black or White as much as I, um, as much as I'd like to. I mean, it's definitely a very fun game, and I'm probably gonna make a video about this later, but, um, actually worth playing! Yeah, that was, that one was a shocker. Like, uh, I was not expecting a lot, I was wrong. It's a really good game. Um... But yeah, turn-based battles, not really something I have a whole lot of fondness for anymore. I mean, unless they somehow make it interesting, like Mario and Luigi, or they seem to move so fast the game seems like they're embarrassed to be seen with them, like uh, Final Fantasy VI, for example. Or, you know, unless, of course, I have a nice speed-up key, like this. Always fun. Always fun. Although I have been playing Nostalgia a lot. Not like uh, something called Nostalgia, but... Well, well, yes. But yeah, the game Nostalgia. It's pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, if, it if you're the type who enjoys, uh, well, very nostalgic feelings <laughs> of, you know, very old or older RPGs a la Skies of Arcadia or the immediate post-PS1 era where, oh dear Christ, that's a lot of enemies. Hmm. This could take a little bit. Yeah, this could definitely take a little bit. Let's see, how much damage this gonna do? Oh dear Christ, not a whole lot. Well, what I'm gonna do here, I think I'm gonna call it a day right here, and I'll meet you back when this battle is over.